Good morning, Concord. My name is Marcus D. Wiley. I'm, hey, TSU, what's up? Okay. What's up? Man, I tell you, now, it's 10 o'clock. Y'all a little lively. Uh, 8 o'clock, you know, it's a little different. So is this like a, uh, this, this, ain't, this is a mixture church and a club crowd? I mean, I, no, no shade, no shade, because, you know, both institutions, you know, they create some of the same dynamics, you know. Uh, you got people who hang out at church like it's a club. Then you got folk who go to the club religiously. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, man, I can tell you, just take on a little journey. Like, you go to the club, you got, they got at the club, they got a thing called bouncers. Bouncers are there to maintain order. Make sure you don't sneak in without paying. You go over to the church, church got a thing called ushers. <laughs> they here to maintain order. Make sure you don't sneak out without paying your tithes and your off. Close the door, it's offering time, lock, lock them. You go to the church, I mean to the club, the club have a bartender. Bartender ushers out spirits. <laughs> go to the church, church have a praise team lead our pastor, ushers in the spirit. Yeah. Men try to get with women at the club. Ladies, you don't like it because a brother don't know your name, so he got to reference something you wearing to get your attention. So he got to be like, psst, red, red. Psst, Gucci purse. Hold up, Gucci purse. Psst, say little PT, little ponytail. What's up? Holla at your boy. Men try to get with women at church, too. They just make more of a spiritual reference. They be more like, psst, virtuous. Psst, something like Mary, what's up? Psst, answer to my prayers. Ah, girl, you must be my rib. <laughs> Believe it or not, you got people who go to the club, they don't drink, they don't smoke, they don't dance, they don't do nothing. They just like being there. Believe it or not, you got people who come to church. They're not in the ministry. They don't participate. They don't give. They don't do nothing. They just like being here. <laughs> but y'all, I'm one of them Christians, what you call, I'm free. Everybody say free. free. I came from a church where they said, any way you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. And I took that and ran with it. Right, because eight years ago, my wife came up to me. She was like, babe, I'm pregnant, and it's yours. Uh, I was like, all right, put that on me, okay. But we ain't know nothing about having kids, and I was at the barber shop, and the dude came up to me. He said, say, bro, here you about to have a baby. I was like, nah, my, my wife is, but uh, it's like the same thing. He's like, well, you know, I work at the hospital. I was like, you the doctor? He's like, nah, I work at the hospital, and I get stuff. It's like, you get stuff? He's like, yeah, you're going to need pampers. You're going to need milk. I work at the hospital, and I get stuff. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, how much? He said, give me $100. Concord Church, in my garage, stacked from the floor to the ceiling, were boxes of diapers and milk. Here's where I went wrong. One Sunday after church, I took one of these other Christians that's not free home with me. We go through the garage. He see all the boxes. He like, man, what's all these boxes? I said, pimp, that's milk and diapers. He said, man, I bet you spent an arm and a leg on all that. I said, uh-uh, $100. Dude at the barbershop hooked me up. Here he go, boy, that's stealing. That man stole that stuff, and you got your baby drinking this stolen milk. Your baby could drink this milk and die. He going to kill my baby. <laughs> but that's how they act when they not getting blessed. <laughs> Something always wrong with your blessing. <laughs> and them type of Christians don't even read the Bible, because somewhere in there it say the wealth of the wicked is laid up 
for the righteous. And I'm just trying to see how you going to get the wicked's wealth if you don't know nobody wicked. <laughs> Some of y'all praying for a flat screen, you better go to the barbershop. All right, y'all. Y'all good? <laughs>